Howdy folks, Doc here with LastPass Tool, and uh, summer is going to be approaching pretty soon, um, and that means overlanding. So we've already got a handful of trips planned, um, and we're even looking at next year, um, you know, a whole year out uh, as a possible overlanding trip um, in Australia. But anyway, one of the things I did a few years ago is I took my tech or my uh, uh, Vito Pro Pack MC bag and I filled it with um, good tools. Probably a lot of overkill, but anyway, it kind of gave me an idea, and that is to build an overlanding kit. And what I did with the first, uh, with my MC bag, is I, I basically chose, you know, kind of across a spectrum, the tools I wanted, um, kind of as a, as a grab-and-go bag for all kinds of different adventures. However, what I've decided to do here is build a overlanding loadout and it is defined by the size of this bag and it's not a very big bag um, and that's because I loved the size of the other bag this one's a little bit taller I also got it in orange it comes in several different colors um, I like the orange better than the safety yellow um, but it is not a whole lot bigger and I also like the streamlineness of the of this this previous bag in that it did not have extra things hanging off the sides. Um, there's no way to get a larger bag without moving to these things, but partially that was to fit it into slots, to slide it across seats and, and pick up decks and things. But anyway, this is the one I settled on. So over quite a while, actually, um, this winter, I've been slowly building it out, trying to figure out exactly what I need for different kinds of adventures. So let's get to it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna empty this thing and I'll do it pretty quick because I've watched videos where people are taking their time and there's like 200 tools in here. And if I gave each one even a few seconds, I'd end up with a pretty long video. But I'm gonna start by saying there are additions to this. Uh, first of all, I will have a large breaker bar and probably some large sockets. Here's a 35, somebody had asked about that. A 35, um, is uh, front wheel nuts on a Toyota Tacoma. I'll have a 21 here, uh, deep 21, because that is uh, the lug nuts that I'm using. Um, and then, of course, this uh, I have a way to step this down to 3 8 and that's what I've standardized with that particular, or, or with this particular loadout. So let's take a look at this bag first. Um, it has the two zippers across uh, basically allowing it to open up. So I had to decide what was on what side and what was on, an, uh, on the other side. It's got some external pockets here. Um, I have not used these for anything and I will make other overlanding videos um, with like accessories, consumables, you know, tape and wire and, and things to fix uh, that would allow you to fix um, basic stuff on the road. Another philosophy behind this is I may get stuck somewhere and this this can happen and has happened, and I may need to get parts shipped in, um, and then I would need the tools for those. But, you know, obviously you can't rebuild an engine out in the backcountry, so uh, I don't need the things that um, are deep into the engine. But what I do need is if I, you know, say broke something that I could get that piece brought in, um, or if it, it might be one that I carry, depends on what it is, um, that I would have the tools to be able to do it. I could supplement a professional mechanic as well, maybe to my specific vehicle, that's another thing. And the philosophy, and this is somewhat controversial, I don't plan for other people. They plan for themselves as far as I'm concerned, which means I'm not bringing tools that I have no need for. Now there are ones that I might not need and there are ones that maybe like an 11 millimeter socket, I don't know if I'd ever need it, but do I bring the whole set um, or do I take out like the 11, you know, things like that. But anyway, other people, you know, if I if I have tools that they can use, great, but I'm not going to bring a bunch of, say, uh, fractional or SAE tools because I don't have stuff that fits them. You know, and yeah, somebody might need them, but boy, you know, I'm not going to carry their stuff. Just my, my philosophy over years of doing this. Anyway, on the outside, one thing, I've thrown a tape measure in here. This is just uh, about the only time I use this. Occasionally I measure um, things for fit, but mostly... It's, uh, let's say, up in Alaska, if I want to get on a ferry and I need to know exactly how long my vehicle is or exactly how tall it is. Obviously, six and a half feet isn't going to get me very far, but what this 
I, you know, by measuring and then measuring again and again. I have a small tape measure that actually will get by. Otherwise, I don't usually uh, need a tape measure. Um, let's open this side. And uh, one thing I've noticed is depending on what's wedged on the edges, um, I might get things stuck that's hitting my Torx wrenches. So here it is on this side. And here it is on this side. And I had a couple of rules. On my first one, I didn't want to have to move more than two tools. In this case, I've kind of built it from the most likely to be needed, you know, kind of leaning back or most likely to be needed up near the top and work their way down. But um, say on this side, I'll just go ahead and empty this out to show you my thinking. Um, and most of this has appeared in other videos. Um, so there it is, my hammer. Um, I am bringing both of these. I like them that much. Um, and I may have you know, other tools up front with me, but uh, the snap-on um, LNs, long noses, I guess, um, are just outstanding. Um, another plier, uh, my plier wrenches, and as you've seen in other videos, I've decided on those two. Um, so we've got a 250 plier wrench uh, and 125. Uh, little trim tool, I've got a couple of those in here. Here is a uh, 180 Cobra, and then back here, uh, let's see, well, I'll get to it. Excuse me, it's on this side. Here is my 300 Cobra. Over here, what do I have? I've got a twin grip, and in this case, I've gone with the, um, the dipped handle just to kind of save a little space. And I've got my snap-on wire cutters here. Um, go to, through a few others. I've got a couple of screwdrivers, my two uh, snap-ons here. Um, I may change this to the pistol grip. I haven't decided. Um, but this is the my favorite little stubby there. Um, but I'm also a firm believer in the two standard sizes for slotted and uh, Phillips to have full-on screwdrivers, not just um, ratcheting or bit screwdrivers, but actual ones. And they're pretty light. Now the weight here does not matter. Um, I am limiting it to space. And uh, sometimes that's an overlanding concern um, or even motorcycle uh, adventure. It might not be the weight, it might be the space that's, that's really the critical factor there. Um, over here, my Knipex. I just love these things for so many things. They're, the, the, they're a different kind of a stripper and cutter, so that's really what, uh, what is um, their role here. A uh, couple of side things. I've got my favorite pick, that double-sided, double-edged pick, and then one of the small pry bars. I have several pry bars in here. Those come in handy. Um, uh, let's see, larger uh, Tecton pry bar. This is... Just a, it's pretty beefy and small, and that just comes the, the handiness of different things. Because remember, it isn't just the vehicle; it's also the external components on the vehicle. Um, and if I've got a camper on the vehicle, or if we're towing a trailer, or who knows what, I need the tools for that. Um, here's one knife. I've got a couple in here. I'm going to go with this Milwaukee over the Knipex in this case uh, because this may be more sacrificial. And I do actually like this this Milwaukee knife here. Um, it's it's pretty solid, and I can really crank down the blade, and that's one of the reasons to stay down there. Um, so when it's out, you know, at whatever setting, I can, you know, it's locked in there tight. Um, let's see, uh, getting into uh, one light here on this side. Um, I've had real good luck with these. Some people have said that they, their joint has broken on their flashlights. I'm... Um, I would also am choosing this over the snap-on simply because of the power of the magnet and the tilting head. There are some lesser ones, um, and that would work as well. Plus, uh, with the, the lighting, I will have definitely other lights, so this is really kind of one that's going to stay in here, um, you know, and I could use it, you know, attach it to a, another piece of metal and just lock it down, or a fender or whatever. So now let's get to the socket set on this side. Uh, first of all, I've got several ratchets in here. Um, I do have this uh, flex, locking flex head, and I don't mind this, the, the, the amount I've used it anyway. It's, uh, I haven't run into a problem of flipping this back and forth accidentally. But anyway, that's, 
That's uh, three eighths, and this is the largest ratchet. But remember, I have that breaker bar, and I can also, you know, jump my sockets up to that. Um, I also have my little stubby. I absolutely love this thing. I've got an extension here, uh, wobble extension, and a 10 millimeter here, um, already on it. Uh, here is another 3.8. Um, this is a, a round head, so it's also a great driver. I've also got a bit holder on here, and then this bit is a, this PB Swiss goes to a quarter here, uh, so I can adapt uh, if I need to, to the quarter inch um, platform. And then this is an E7 Torx uh, for manifold bolts. Um, here is a blue point magnet, and on top of that is this Malco um, quarter and 5 16 uh, driver. That's a lot of uh, the screws used on campers, so that would allow me to tighten those back up. Going into the sockets here, uh, here are two rails, and I've bent the ends of these rails so the, the little uh, sliders don't fall off. Uh, but I go from uh, 20 millimeter here, because remember I've got the 21 for the lug nuts, and I may have a 22, I haven't decided. So one of the things, you gotta decide what parts you want really need access to. I mean, there's no point in, say, pulling the differential off of or something, unless there's a reason you can you know, or you, you can fix it out there, and most of the time that's a, a bigger deal. Drains, yeah, that might, you know, be an issue. Um, but anyway, I I have to decide if I need some extend or some larger sockets. Um, the other thing I want to mention is sometimes you can pull bolts off of different places on your vehicles to use them in other places. So anyway, something to think about. Uh, what do we got here? We have got, uh, we go all the way down. I just kept the whole thing down to six plus a couple of adapters, um, three eighths to half. And then I've got some, um, a, a short extension. And then I've got an E14 here, which is another um, necessary one of the E um, Torx. These are all tens. Got to have plenty of those. So I've got 10 uh, sh real stubbies, longs, deep here. Um, and then this is a 10 that goes on a half inch drive. Um, and then this is a um, 10 millimeter um, uh, flex head on top of some extensions, including um, this flex down here, all three eighths. Flip it around. And what do I have over here? I have got, this is all wrenches right here. Um, and I've got, you know, 19 down to probably six. A lot of these are the ratcheting wrenches. I've got a few others in here as well. Um, I've got a flare nut wrench and I've got a half moon wrench in here, but they're all separated out. So they're organized here. Um, cobalts, the long handled ones. Uh, large, one of my favorite picks, my favorite scraper. Now, why my favorite tools? Very simple. I won't be here. I'll be out on the trail, so I might as well have all my good stuff with me. Uh, the Milwaukee pry bar here, the little lady's foot. Um, got a level here. Extra long extension for driving hexes. I've got some Vera torques and uh, Vera hexes. Got an adjustable wrench. I've got a long side pick. I could get the same as my you know favorite pick, but I find for the long stuff, sometimes I need to be able to grab and pull things. And I can do that with this one. One of my favorite pry bars, it's a small, small one here. Um, striking pry bar. This is an Ulfa saw. I've got two saws in here. Here's the other saw. Um, the little snap-on hacksaw. And here is something this will cut plastic a little bit better and wood. Um, I probably will also have um, obviously camp saws and things like that. Uh, smaller uh, indexing pry bar. This is um, a Lyle uh, trim tool. It's surprising how often you need just something like that. Here is a set of vessel bits um, for both 
small Torx, Hex, uh, Phillips, and slotted. See. Here's a Knipex plier. I would like the pistol grip ones, but um, these will uh, fit better in here. Um, the off chance that's really what I need. I probably need the scissors, believe it or not, before. Um, here is a, uh, a Klein tool, kind of the precision screwdriver with the small bits. Here's the Snap-on PWZ. This is the small one. Uh, great for bending metal, things like that, when you don't want to risk a pair of pliers. Um, this is a small little seal tool. A carpenter's pencil. Writing notes, etc. This is valve core tool. Large 250 Cobras. And a Milwaukee utility knife right there. So that is what I've got so far. Let me know your thoughts if anything's missing, if I've got um, too many of something or too few of something. But this is kind of just over experience. These are the main things. There are some larger to torques and larger hexes that I think would be great um, for like the bed of the truck or um, there are a few few specific things I might supplement with those, um, but I have to kind of look at is that even a possibility. Um, and then somehow get this down into a tiny, teeny tiny kit that'll fit uh, easily on an airplane. But anyway, this is what I've got. Uh, and I am interested in uh, your additions and subtractions as well. Obviously, we've got a few months till the first trip, but um, it's coming fast. And I, I enjoy trying to build these things out. I will be building some other overlanding kits too. Uh, people have asked about that re with recovery gear and consumables and all sorts of stuff. But anyway, let me know your thoughts. And with that, Doc out.